This is Ben McGahey with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is the math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about telling time with story problems. So remember we did a lesson on uh, telling time and we noticed that there were um, 12 hours on our round clock. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And also, we noticed that there was a, um, we don't have it drawn here on these clocks, but we have a short hand and a long hand on the clock. So the short hand represents um, the hour, the current hour for the time, and the long hand represents the, the minutes, number of minutes that are past the hour. So just to review with the clock, we start at 12, that's the new hour for the minute hand, and so that would be zero minutes. And then when we go to one, it would be five minutes, two, ten minutes, 3 is 15 minutes, 4 is 20 minutes, 5 is 25 minutes, 6 is 30 minutes, so that would be half past the hour, and then we have 7 is 35 minutes, 8 is 40 minutes, 9, 45 minutes, 10, 50 minutes, 11, 55 minutes, and then 12 goes back to 60 minutes so we start back at zero again for the new hour so that's a full hour and so notice that once we go start at the 12 and then we go all the way around one time that means we go one hour and so if we were to go around again we would say one hour and then the five minutes for one and then at two one hour and ten minutes three, one hour and fifteen minutes, and then so on. So this gives us an idea, you know, of how much uh, time has passed as we go around the clock, and that each of these um, numbers represents an additional five minutes added to the time. So let's look at an um, example problem to see how we can solve a story problem with telling time. So John gets on the school bus at 8.10 a.m. So a.m. means in the morning. And then he arrives to the school 20 minutes later. At what time does John arrive to school? So what we're going to do is draw the current time, which we know is um, 8.10 a.m. So we have, we have our shorthand, which is at 8. That's the hour. And then 10 minutes after 8, that's 8.10. So that will be our longer hand for the minutes. And then if he arrives to the school, 20 minutes later. So we're just going to count by fives and then see what 20 minutes later is. To see what time he arrives to school. So we're going to have, we'll have 5, 10, 15, 20. So notice that our new time Since the minute hand ends on the 6, the time that John arrives to the school um, 20 minutes later is going to be 8.30 a.m. So John arrives to the school at 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Okay, so let's look at the second problem. It's a little bit different, but we'll be using the same idea of counting minutes. 
So it says that Linda wants to see a movie tonight. The movie starts at 7.45 p.m. So p.m. represents, um, you know, in the evening. It can also represent in the afternoon as well. Um, she lives 15 minutes away from the movie theater. So 15 minutes away. And at what time should Linda leave her house to go see the movie? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to draw the time on the clock. And we know that it's 7.45 p.m. That's when the movie starts. So we have 7 here for the shorthand for the hour. And then 45 minutes, that would be for the 9 for the longer hand. And we know that she lives 15 minutes away from the movie theater. And we want to know what time Linda should leave her house to go see the movie. So we know that since the movie starts at 7.45 at night, and she needs 15 minutes to get there, we actually have to count backwards 15 minutes because she's going to need to leave before 7.45 to get to the movie theater. So what we'll do is we'll subtract 15 minutes. So we start at the 9 and we go 5 for 8 and then 10 is 10 minutes for 7 and then 15 minutes we go back to 6. So we went 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, subtracting. And we notice that the time that she has to leave with 6 is 30 minutes after the hour. So that would be 7.30 p.m. So just to make sure to check that, you know, if we start, if she starts to leave at 7.30 p.m. and the movie starts at 7.45 or 15 minutes later, we just add 15 minutes. So we start at the 6 and go 5, 10, 15, and then notice that we're back to where we started, which was at 7.45 p.m. Okay, so these are a couple of problems, you know, for practice with uh, telling time story problems. So now let's take a look at some problems that we can try on our own. So um, I have two problems for you to try. And the first problem says that Sam goes to a birthday party from 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. How long does Sam stay at the birthday party? How long does Sam stay at the birthday party? And then the second problem, it says Charles wants to bake some cookies in the oven. He sets the cookies in the oven at 5.15 p.m and then bakes them for 12 minutes. At what time will the cookies be ready? So at what time will the cookies be ready? Okay, so I'll give you some time to work on these problems and uh, then we'll go over the answers. Okay, so let's go over the answers to these problems and we'll look at the first one. So it says Sam goes to a birthday party from 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. 
how long does Sam stay at the birthday party? So what we'll do here is we'll draw a clock. We'll list our numbers. 12, 1, 2, 3, 5, and then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we know that the birthday party starts at 2 p.m. So the shorthand for the hour is 2, and the long hand, since it's 0 minutes, starts at the 12. And we know that it ends at 3.30. So let's see how much time that Sam stay at the birthday party. So we have, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So that's one hour for till 3 o'clock. So our, our new time, you know, would be 3 o'clock. So I'll just color this in here and draw our new time. So now we've gone one full hour at 3 o'clock, but now we need to go to 3.30 p.m. So we start again, and we went one hour, so we went the one again, one hour and five minutes. 2 would be 1 hour and 10 minutes, 3 is 1 hour and 15 minutes, 4 would be 1 hour and 20 minutes, 5 is 1 hour and 25 minutes, and then 6 is 3.30. So there's our new time. 3.30 would be 1 hour and 30 minutes. So that's how long Sam stays at the party for from 2 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. That's one hour and 30 minutes. And then we'll just erase this here, this hand. So this is the time that Sam has to leave the birthday party. Okay, so let's take a look at the second problem. Charles wants to bake some uh, cookies in the oven. He sets the cookies in the oven at 5.15 p.m. and then bakes them for 12 minutes. At what time will cookies be ready. So I'm going to draw our clock again. And then list our numbers starting at 12 at the top. Go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And let's draw the current time. We know it's going to be 5.15 p.m. So the hour shorthand is going to be at 5. And then we got our long hand at the 3. And then he says he bakes them for 12 minutes. So if we start in at 3, 
we're going to go 12 minutes. So that would be, for the 4, that would be 5 minutes. And then we have another 5 minutes would be at the 5. So that's 10 minutes. So we have 5, 10, and then we need 12 minutes. So that we add 2 more minutes. So what would that be? We have, we're at 525 with 10 minutes, and then 2 more minutes would be 26, 27. So our new time, we're going to draw it here. So I'm going to erase this hand here. We have it at 5, 27. So it's between the 5 and the 6. So it's 2 minutes after the 5. So our time is going to be 5.27 p.m. And that's the time that Charles takes the cookies out of the oven. That's when they'll be ready to eat. So notice how we did this again. We started at the 5.15, which was at the 3. Five minutes we knew was 5.20. Another five minutes or 10 minutes is 525 and then we know that 10 adding 2 more gives us 12 minutes so we have 525 with 2 minutes would give us 527 p.m. okay so let's take a look and see if we got matched up with the answer key. Yes, we got an hour and 30 minutes and 5.27 p.m. to take out those cookies. If you got those answers right, great job. You know how to um, tell time and you know how to um, use that skill for various situations to see what time you need to be somewhere or how long it takes you know to uh, do an activity. This is Ben McGahey and I want to thank you for watching this video on a telling time story problems. Please stay tuned for more lessons on yammychess.com. Have a great day.